Hi everyone, Stephen for FutureLooks.com and today we are going to be reviewing a product that's built to keep your keyboard and your mouse just a little bit safer at the LAN parties. It's called the NZXT Bunker. The Bunker is a five and a quarter inch locking device that gives you four extra USB ports and the ability to lock down USB peripherals with a gate that opens and closes and keeps things from coming back out thanks to the uh, locking mechanism that's included. Uh, in the box here, you'll notice that there's a manual, but and then there's the uh, device itself. There's a set of keys, there's two of them just in case you lose one. There's also a set of mounting screws, four, so that you can mount the uh, device securely in one of the five and a quarter inch bays inside your chassis. Uh, the device itself is actually fairly simple. Uh, build quality seems to be fairly decent. It is a full plastic um, casing here. And you can see from the top here, there is four USB ports and this piece of the head, this this cable here plugs into one of the many USB headers on your motherboard. This is a USB 2.0 device though, so uh, USB 3.0 um, ports need not apply in this case. In the front here, you'll see the locking mechanism and the gate that we were talking about here. Uh, I'll take one of the keys out here and just demonstrate how this gate kind of pops out, which is kind of a neat feature. So all you do is basically you lock it, and then when you open it, the whole thing just kind of pops out and you can see the action of the internal PCB with the um, USB ports here. It also extends forward as well too. Now installation of the bunker is actually fairly simple. All you need to do is mount it right into one of the five and a quarter inch bays here. Here we've got an NZXT uh, Phantom chassis, which is one of the best chassis of uh, 2010 and just pop one of the five and a quarter inch uh, covers out, push the uh, bay right in, and lock it down with, uh, if you have a quick release mechanism on your case, it makes it a little bit easier to position and get that locked down. For added security, I highly recommend screwing it down. Now, as a quick cautionary note, this device by itself will not keep your peripherals safe. You've got to lock down the doors on your case. I've seen uh, some people lock things down to uh, their table, the front of their uh, chassis, yet I can still break into the inside of their case. So what you want to do is make sure that not only do you lock this up when you walk away from your uh, ta table at the LAN party, but that you make sure that you have a security device locking both panels on your system as well. So now that we've got the bunker installed inside our Phantom chassis here, let's show you how it works. Now, as I mentioned briefly before, this device here is a locking mechanism that uses these keys here that come in 20 different combinations. Uh, and when you open it up, the whole gate snaps straight out, revealing four USB 2.0 ports. Now, to get your peripherals attached and secured in here, all you need to do is plug them in. And keep in mind that USB plugs need to be a uh, maximum of 42 millimeters or 4.2 centimeters in length. Otherwise, they will not fit and the gate will not close on them properly here. Uh, if I pull hard enough, this will probably snap open and everything will come out. But in the big scheme of things, it just by seeing that there is a lock on here and by making it hard, you might be able to get someone to move someone to move on to the next system and steal their stuff as, uh, instead. The NZXT bunker is fairly reasonably priced at $24.99 and comes with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. So the bunker here isn't exactly free at $24.99, nor is it the most robust and rugged theft deterrent device. If I want to take this with me, a quick pull would probably do the trick and I would be off with your mouse and your keyboard. But having said that though, if this makes a would-be thief skip your system and walk to the next system, then that $24.99 spent is actually worth it. So overall, I'd give this product a 7.5 out of 10. And you know what? I would recommend it because if it saves you once, uh, it'll probably save you again in the future from having your stuff ripped off a, at a LAN party. Again, my name is Steven. 
Please subscribe and thanks for watching.